Hi, yeah, I'm uh, John Diffley. I'm currently at the Francis Crick Institute in London. I'm a, a biochemist by training and a geneticist as well. And so I've been working on this project of trying to understand DNA replication really for my whole adult career. I can kind of trace my interest in this project back to a, a single paper that I read when I was a PhD student. And it was really a visual image. It was a picture of um, DNA from an early Drosophila embryo. And in that, you could see the DNA had these bubbles in it, and the bubbles were where replication was happening. And that really just piqued my interest in really just the question of what was happening at each one of those things so that you could make a perfect copy of the genome. It was really more or less at that point that I thought this was a really important research question. And I guess I always wanted to have something that was really fundamentally important to try and understand. The project was called Eukaryotic DNA Replication. I'm interested in understanding inheritance and how our DNA is replicated. So every cell in your body has a full blueprint of DNA to make another version of you. For example, Dolly the sheep was made from a, a cell in, in a mammary gland, which shows that every cell in your body has, has all the information needed to make another version of you. And so uh, every time a cell divides, it has to copy all of that entire blueprint of information. And that's a lot of DNA, 3 billion base pairs in every cell. And that has to be copied every time a cell divides. And my interest really has been in trying to understand details about how that process works. The way it has to happen is you have um, multiple what are called replication origins along your genome that get activated in every cell cycle. And it's critical that these origins are activated just once in every cell cycle to make sure you get a precise copy of your genome before uh, cell division. And this project, it came at about at a time when we spent a lot of time on the genetics of DNA replication. We understood a lot about the general principles of how it worked, but we didn't really know many details. And so it came at a time when my lab was really uh, changing from doing genetic experiments to doing biochemical experiments. And so this grant was really a critical moment where we were able to kind of really turn our research program around and really focus on the biochemistry of DNA replication. I think training is incredibly important. Try and carry that into my lab as well. And I think one of the things that a lot of scientists need to really realize is that, you know, ultimately they'll be judged not just on the science that they put out, but also in the quality of the trainees that come through their lab. I think this is really an important metric for success. What's been great is I've had loads of young people come into my lab, many of whom have had no experience in biochemistry. Some of them have. But we've been able to train them and show them how to do this, how to make this system work. Now there's people all over Europe who are running their own independent groups who've been through this program. Mm -hmm.